Hello everybody, this is Tracy Fitzhugh and I am here with Heritage Living. I am here to share with you about one of my favorite products. I know I have a lot. Um, I don't use a lot of them every day, but this is one of them that I mostly do. It is a yummy treat for me, even though I know that it's good for me. I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. I should have opened it before it started. Anyway, I'm here to talk to you about alkaline. I use the individual serving packets because it's very easy for me and um, it's easy for me because I can take them with me and just so many reasons. Um, I live in an area of the world where it's very, very humid and it is a powder and no matter how much I try to get the lid back on, sometimes humidity gets into it and it gets clumpy and so, um, and it's probably user issues, mine, not getting it on there tight enough. But anyway, so I like to use the individual packets. It is, you ready for what this does for you? And all, not all the benefits, just some of the benefits. But it is an alkaline, alkalinity powder that has calcium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate, and essential oils. It is formulated to neutralize acidity in the body. Yes, it also helps maintain desirable pH levels in the body. Alkaline also features enhanced effervescence and biochemic cell salts, okay? Because that increases the effectiveness, meaning you absorb more. And when you have these extra things added to it with the essential oils, means that you're actually absorbing more of this than you would any other product out there. So what contributes to having an acidic life or acidic body? Um, this is what it is, poor diet. Yep, it starts with your diet. If you are not watching what you eat, if you are not very aware of how you can maintain great wellness during this time of year, this is the number one way, is to make sure that your body is high, higher pH, at least a seven, because that's the normal. Because when you have a normal pH in your body, guess what? Bacteria cannot thrive there. No, bacteria dies off. It cannot duplicate as quickly and your body is normally able to overcome exposures to things every day. But what's happened is we have such a diet that's horrible. Almost everything in our diet, if it's processed, causes the body to be acidic. Yes. So if you are eating things out of a box, if you're going through the fast food lines, you're probably acidic and that's probably why your body is um, weakened, has weakened immunity. So you want to make sure that your diet is getting better and that you're actually getting nutrition to help your body function. The next thing that causes your body to be acidic, sugar. Yes, all sugars. All sugars make your body acidic, whether it's natural sugars or um, all the processed stuff that turns to sugar. Sugar in excess, yes, sugar in excess is not good for you. Small amounts of fruit is okay, but most people don't realize that one banana is two servings of a fruit. That's a lot of an overload of sugar on your body. Yeah, so sugar is something you really, really need to watch. Um, acidic, another way is beverages such as soda, coffee, um, hold on, my contact. Oh, alcoholic beverages and some teas can be acidic. Acidic foods can also be um, too many um, overly processed meats and cheeses. You can also become acidic if you don't have the right gut bacteria or the gut flora. So if you're eating all those foods, it's breaking down the good bacteria that you need in your body. And when you do not get it, your body becomes acidic. So, if you're having all of these things and your body's probably acidic, this is one way to help get your body in a greater alkaline. But there's one more thing that can cause your body to be acidic. You ready? Excess stress and smoking can create conditions of acidicness in your body. So if you're under a lot of stress and you don't know how to deal with the stress well, yes, your body could be acidic even if you have a great diet. Mm -hmm. So. How do you know if you're acidic? You can test it. You can test your uh, urine, some people, and what you can get at Walmart. Um, but you want it to be about a 7.0. You, 
You also can do many other things. You can test your blood, but alkaline is a great way for me to help me to make sure I maintain a great pH. Alkaline contains natural ingredients as well as essential oils. Um, it has sodium, calcium, magnesium, and potassium. It has lemon essential oil, lime essential oil, and so what all those do is they can help your body to get in that great pH. What you do is you stir one of these into six to eight ounces of distilled water, okay, and you need to drink it immediately. Mix only with water, okay, and you can take it up to one to three times a day, about an hour before a meal or before you go to bed, okay, because that will help you to alkalize. You're going to know um, how much your body needs. Just follow what you need, okay. If you drink it in cold water, it kind of tastes like Sprite. It's a little sweet, it does have a little stevia in it, but I want to show you what I like to do with it, and I'm going to end it on this. <clears throat> As a kid, I used to like that candy that you would put on your tongue that would fizz, or like the Pop Rocks. Well, I don't eat candy and I don't do sweets, but I do have fond memories of using that. So what I like to do with my alkaline is put it on my tongue, and after I get done using as much of it as I can at that time, I make sure I drink plenty of water. I don't have a problem drinking water. I can drink a quart of water pretty easy. Um, I do use a smoothie straw, a fat one. That helps me get more water in. But it's very important that you drink plenty of good, clean water. So you ready? I'm gonna show you my tongue so you can see how fizzy. So if you don't wanna see that, if that grosses you out, then you may wanna go ahead and stop now, okay? But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna let it sit there for a minute, then I'm gonna take a drink, and then I'm gonna say adios. But alkaline is a great addition to your daily regime, or if you, if you feel that your body is in a, a weakened time of acidity, you can help raise the pH by doing this, and you can act, um, address it aggressively. All right, here we go. It's fizzing on my tongue. Oh, it tastes so good. It's still fizzing throughout my whole mouth. Woo! It's kind of tart, but I like it. So, I would keep doing that until I finish the entire packet, but because it's tart, you will want to drink. So just make sure you drink plenty of water. Um, some people will use this during times of weakened immunity just to um, make sure that their body stays in that pH state. And if you have littles, this packet is for an adult size. Littles can take this, um, but they don't need the whole packet. Remember, they're not as big as us big humans. They're just little humans. Little humans can take this with common sense in smaller amounts according to their size. Okay? I know lots of young people that during that time of needing extra pH levels to be supported, um, that drink this throughout the day as well. So this is a great addition to your everyday regime of just making sure that you stay in that great pH um, spot. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for joining in.